Uh, meanwhile, Arsenal and Spurs have no problem scoring goals at the moment. Great game, wasn't it, yesterday in the first North London derby of the season? It would finish 2-2. Uh, Arsenal ruined probably uh, their missed chances. Uh, Robert, what did you make of this overall? Uh, it was a good game, as you said, entertaining game. Uh, Arsenal, I thought, closed the ball down well, made it difficult for Tottenham. We talked about Tottenham playing out from the back, but they could have been 2-0 down when uh, Madison lost it to Jesus and Arsenal kept on winning it back in good areas. They showed bravery. They, at times, they showed stupidity, Tottenham, I thought, when they were trying to play out from the back. But they've shown good character. There's a good spirit about Spurs at the moment. The fans are right behind the manager. The manager's getting the best out of most of the players. Um, it will... Uh, we haven't seen Spurs at the moment lose a game in, in the league. And how will they cope when they do that? But uh, overall, Arsenal are still a very good side. Come the end of the season, I think Arsenal will be close to Man City. Uh, Spurs will just be in or around the top four. Somebody on the panel predicted a 2-2. Mm. Do you remember even doing that, Shaq? <laughs> of course I do, that. It was, it was a very well thought out prediction, if I may say so myself. You could be smug. Uh, um, OK, uh, listen, and, and I, I think this game, and, and Robbo, I, I thought summed it up well, I think Arsenal are the better of the two teams, probably by, by some distance, but Arsenal just have this inability to kill, kill games off. And, and that's what you saw. Even this when, season, this season. This, this season, this season. They, they have an inability to, to, to kill games off. Um, the only game they've won by, by more than a goal was Manchester United, and they scored two in injury time. Um, and, and you saw that when they were dominating Spurs... They, they couldn't make the most of it. And yes, Gabriel Jesus has to, has to, to bear a, a, a big uh, portion of the blame for that. And then Spurs just have this belief about them. After all the criticism for all the years, uh, Postacoglu has got them believing for, for, for whatever reason. And it's good to see that, that they never feel um, out of a game, that they, they always feel that, that <laughs> they, they, they have something to, 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 to rely on. And... And they found it. And, and in the end, I thought, yeah, it's, it's a fair result. If you're Arsenal, you're probably kicking yourself. But I, I think Spurs were worthy of a point. Mario, how do you feel if you're a Spurs defender where you've got your coach saying, look, play out from the back, don't worry, I won't blame you, but this is the way I want to play. When it starts going wrong, still to have that belief in the system to keep doing it. If, if the team is built like that, you know, in a training session, when you go through the patterns... At the end, you also have to stay believing in and holding on to it. And I, it's a good question. Why? Because I've been through that myself as a young boy. Um, and I also sometimes say, like, hey, can we just <laughs> play the ball forward? But no, because the, the thing, what, what he has built at Spurs is allowing people to make them feel comfortable and pressing us and then penetrate them. Does it work? Yeah, because he played against an Arsenal team. I think they, they as a team at Spurs, are very informed but also a team like Arsenal are capable to do certain things to you. And if you can get a draw at it, how many times we would have said, how many seasons now going back and we would have said, like, oh, no, this is going to be a game that uh, Spurs could maybe have a chance even to win it. We haven't said that a lot of times, but that game yesterday was like, you know, was a good balance in it. I think the way he set them up, the way they play, I mean, I like the middle of the park, you know, Basuma and Saar, oh, the power they have and how they manage the team. But then... You know, Madison and Song, we never saw like a Madison, right, for a guy like was playing so good at Leicester, but they needed that creativity. And I think that is exactly what they have now. The only down part for Madison was when he was pulled backwards. Instead of playing the 10 position, he almost came in the defensive role. And I don't like seeing him there. And that's exactly when they start getting trouble. Mm. Yeah, of course. He almost got caught out, didn't he, with the uh, Jesus challenge. That's uh, what Madison had to say after the game. Of course, Spurs, he... Uh, very much an adjective that Spurs fans don't want to hear. And he says, fans and neutrals talk about Tottenham. They often say soft, weak, bottle it, Spursy, all that rubbish. I think the last couple of weeks shows we might be going in a slightly different direction. We scored in the 98th and 101st minute against Sheffield United to win late on when it looked like it was going to be one of them days. And today we go behind twice at arguably one of the best teams in the world. And we put it back and we're still fighting to the end. Robert brings up a good point, doesn't he, Stevie? What happens when you lose a game? Well, all that character speak and leadership and all of those things will then come into play. Right yeah. now, they're playing with a freedom. Yeah. And when you can play with freedom, then if you believe in it and everybody believes in it, then good things will happen. So until that bump comes, we don't really know what spoils are. 
yes, what we've seen in the six games is definitely they've got this spursy nonsense out the road. They've definitely blown away the cobwebs of the defensive Conte and Mourinho eras. And Spurs are now a team that are all about attacking football. And so right now, it's very difficult to say anything other than positives because all the, all the things they've done have been positive. There's no negatives. I mean, the only negative thing we're talking about is what's going to happen if they start getting caught playing out from the back. Well, you could say that about the majority of the teams in the Premier League. So, so right now, they have shown all of the things that the manager wanted. They've shown all the, the good things the manager, the way they want to play. But until that bump comes, we do not know. I, 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 the other thing, too, is I, I think it's a little premature for Madison to be... Listen, I, I think everybody's enjoyed what we've seen of Spurs and, and hope, well, if you're a Spurs fan... It doesn't hurt anyone saying it, though, does it? In, in that statement, he talks about scoring two goals in 19th and 101st minute. I'm going to assume that he, he made that comment immediately after the Arsenal game because two hours later... Newcastle score eight against Sheffield United. So you can't <laughs> sit there and brag about scoring in the 19th and 101st <laughs> and, and using that as evidence of, of yeah. there being a turnaround. Wow. Saka put that out I'm just saying, it's just, going in there. Put it's, just, wow. it's, just a little, it's just a little premature. <laughs> oh, it's right. just a little premature. Okay. All right, Shane, I've got to ask you about Ramsdale's uh, reaction when we saw Raya make that big save. Mm. I think you, you genuinely... Enjoy seeing you applaud the man who's come in and taken your job. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. Your job as a number two is to support that goalkeeper as best you can, and I, I, I don't think it's just disingenuous at all. Wow. You don't have a number two. They're both number ones. Shall well, come on. yeah, we've right. had this discussion. Like, I love no, it Hey, because, <laughs> listen, I think we all made it here as professional footballers and we did not think about that too often, the way you're thinking right now. Because <laughs> I don't think we would have made it if we kept on thinking like that. <laughs> uh, Robbo, would you have applauded a midfielder who came in and scored a great goal or a great challenge in your place? Mm -hmm. No, I'd have been, I, if I was uh, left out the team for, say, Jorginho and he made that mistake, I wouldn't have been uh, saying, oh, I'm lucky. I'd, I'd have been saying, great, fantastic, I'm in the team next week. <laughs> uh, and I think I think Kachak is just a nice bloke because if I was Ramsdale, I'd be hoping Raya would let one through his legs, miss a cross, I'd hope for everything. Yeah. You want to get back in the team, you want to play. You don't want to be on the, on the bench going, oh, well played, yeah, yeah it's good. You want, to win, you want to win the game, but you yeah. don't mind if they make a mess here. Right, I see. That's, I see, that's, it's, it's that balance. That's it balance. is a balance, it's a balance. No, don't start with your balance now. I'm just you saying. <laughs> no, because as, yeah. as a keeper, you also know that... Beep, 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 as a keeper, beep, you know that mistakes uh, are coming yeah. and... It's, 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 like, it's a different mindset. It's like it's on Wins the Oscar, isn't it? And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need yeah, that. Um, one more thing on uh, Craig brought up yesterday. He felt that Raya should have uh, tipped the ball over the uh, bar for the opening goal. I don't think he could have. Right. I think it was a deflection and the trajectory was odd. He's backpedalling. I think if he goes with his right hand, <laughs> uh, yeah. he actually puts it into his own goal. If you could just recreate it, Shaq, because we don't have it. Well, up, I'll need yeah. Stevie to... Um, what, what, Wait, what, 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 I need you to make a run down the right wing, please. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, God, it's <laughs> fine enough. <laughs> I just crossed it in. All right, there you go. There you are. And there's a little deflection. OK, right. Then, Be careful now, everyone. And then <laughs> Ryan's running back like this. <laughs> right. That's, that's right, I'm running yeah, back. Yeah, that's it, you're running back. But because it's feeding him, if he tries, it, it, it goes into the net. I see. So he has okay. to go left hand. There we are. Beautiful. Well done, well done. What's that? Phoenix oh. from the Fames, beautiful. You're lying, didn't you? Oh, that's right. I bet you're jealous you're not in the studio. But <laughs> <laughs> Robbo would have two-footed you. <laughs> uh, we'll say thank you very much to Stuart Robson. Um, he'll be back for extra time. Just a reminder as well, uh, plenty of Carabao Cup action for you coming up. Um, some good games, actually. Uh, live on ESPN+. Plus. Oh, I didn't mean to sound as su surprised. Uh, Manchester United <laughs> on Crystal Palace.